All right, Chris back and continuing on with my Ori and the Will of the Wisps playthrough. So in the last video, I took on Mirkwood Depths and came out victorious. I uh, defeated Mora and freed the Wisp there. Did a little bit in the aftermath. I built, uh, I cleared out the cave that one of the Moki lost their acorn in. Returned the acorn to him and all he gave me was some spirit lights. Uh, talked to all the spiders and upgraded my spirit hammer. So now when I do the downward smash, it unleashes a shock wave. So now it's time to take on the Luna pools. So because in Mer in Moldwood, I got the silk uh, hand to hand basically takes me to uh, the next part of the quest takes you to the Luna pools where you can give the silk to somebody there. So I figure that's the place to go. So let's uh, start this up and see how I do. So start, start. So things are getting pretty good. I have two of the four wisps and there's nothing else really to do here. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, let's see. So there's a big silence, silent wheel. So I have to get over there. Uh, probably the best path to take would be maybe Inkwater Marsh. Yeah, I think that's probably the best uh, area to warp to. And nothing really here that I need. So, yeah, I'm just going to go to Inkwater Marsh. And then use that to get to the Luna Pools. All right. So, if we go to the right a little bit. Uh, looks like not a lot of this area was really explored. Um, Alright, I think... Eh, I'll do that later. Okay, so, off to the Luna Pools we go. Oh, okay. Nice. Life Cell Fragment. That's gonna help. More life can never be a bad thing. So we have to get upwards. So is there anything over there? Oh, it looks like there's a spirit light up here somewhere. And I kind of want to get over there just to see what's up here. So what we're going to do, whoops. I don't remember this part at all. Okay, what is here? Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything up here. That's kind of weird. Okay, there's a lamp down here. That feels kind of like a bit of a waste of time. Oh well, all the way across. Am I going to reach it? I love this game. The movement is just so fluid. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. And then she saw fragments. Huh. All right. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's over here. Uh, am I missing anything? Going down here. Yeah, it's weird. For all the times that I've played through this game, I don't really remember this part. Feels like I'm just exploring the map, but not really uncovering any secrets. Oops. Okay, and this is sealed. What is over here? Okay, this actually just leads to a rumor. Hmm. Kind of weird. Okay. Huh. All that led to a dead end. That's unfortunate. Uh, is there anything under here that I can get to? Nope. Alright. I guess we're just backtracking now. <laughs> Sorry for that little bit of waste of time. I didn't realize that that would go nowhere. So we just take the lower entrance and all right back on track i guess so now no we're not actually back on track actually maybe we are i guess we have to head to the left To do, to do all the way over. Anything under here before we continue on? Let's see. Okay, so we found. Oh, we actually took out the the spitter as well. Yeah, bash works really well underwater. It gives you that little jolt that you need. So the Luma pools are yet this way. All right, I just uh, wasted a bunch of time for no reason. And I'm not gonna go down. I'm gonna head to the Luma pools now and get back on track. that it looks like that you can get a little bit of an opening it doesn't hurt to go down all that you do is might you might just waste a little bit of time so we have let's see what is here okay so that took those out so now we have to okay from what I remember these kind of open up um, the little... Oh, okay, that's limited. All right. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, well, I don't know what the point of those was. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so we did make it to the big wheel. Okay, so there's nothing there. <laughs> Alright, I guess we have to use this guy to break these. 
There we go. And... That breaks that down. Okay, yeah, that's how we get the big wheel moving. <laughs> uh, kind of feels like I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to, but I'm sort of just stumbling through it at this point. Okay. What is over here? Anything interesting up here? Let's see. Nope. Nothing there. Okay, there's life orb, but... Doesn't look like this This is the way. Whoops. Alright. Okay, it's spirit energy, and... Alright, where are we going now? Okay, so I think now we are in the Luma pools. You can tell by the kind of pinkish moss there. When the Willow's light shattered, the strength of the forest fell here. Its presence kept these pools safe from decay, but we must find it soon. Ori, its light will not last. Okay, so... Anything up here? Nope. Nothing up here. Can we climb onto this? Nope. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, I think I remember this part. So, oops. We want to set the... The wind to blow the... Too far. Oh, too far. Okay, so we got another Gorlack Gore. And yeah, I think that was the whole point of that part. So now we continue on. Have you seen Qualic? I heard he came to the Luma Pools, but I can't find him. It is bigger here than I remember. Qualic is wise. I need his, his advice. If you find him, could you let me know? Will do. All right, so we have to find Qualic. Where's that bubble? Come on, bubble. Okay, well that was kind of pointless. Oh, actually, maybe not. <laughs> here I thought it was pointless and I actually had to get up here because there was a lever. Alright, so that opens up the next way forward and is there anything else here? Nope. How's my health? Except the full. So yeah, I think you need the feather here quite a bit, so... Uh, anything that's gonna repel me up there. Okay. <laughs> uh, looks like I have to break this apart. Okay, what is up here? Oh, good. Another Gorla Gore. And there we go. So we're at two now, and I think we need six for the next item that we can get. Blast those guys into the abyss. Uh, yep, we can go down here, and... Okay, so that opens up the bubbles, and then we use the bubbles. Oops, too high. Okay, I guess that we... Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so... I don't see anything here to get up to. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot them the other way. Yep, I guess they have to go the other way. And... Okay! Alright, we are making progress. The fish are biting, and not just the bait. Risk life and wing to catch one. Game, we can't be all like be those. We can't all be like those underwater flowers, hmm? They retract at the slightest touch or nibble. If only my tail feathers could do that, fishing would be a lot less painful. Bah. Okay, so what is next? Hello there. Wait, is that string? Where did you find that? Okay, this is the guy that we had to get the string for for hand to hand. I could make a net fit for the finest mo fisher moki. I will give you this for it. It is my father's old spyglass. Do not worry, he will not need it. He does not sail. He only sleeps and eats a lot. That is why I need a net. All right, so we got the spyglass and made it made of delicately engraved wood and a highly polished crystal. Okay, so that goes to Mole in the town. Anything here that I have to get? Right, so I don't see anything over here. Nope. Nope, that's all blocked. Um, okay. Well, down we go. Uh, let's see. So what is hidden here? Oh, another spirit light container. So more spirit energy is good. I don't know what the point of that purple flower is. That kind of looks out of place. Something feels a little bit weird about that. And we can't get that, uh, that life energy one, the life cell yet. So what we're gonna try and do is, no, nothing hidden here. And that kind of looks breakable. No, nope, it's not breakable. All right, so there's a spirit well here. Uh, looks like you can't access it for some reason. It's underwater, so something has to be done around here. Uh, we got... Let's see. Okay. No, can't quite get through. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe just have to be a little bit smarter with it. Oops. Go down, and what we'll try doing is go like this, and there we go. Okay. Okay, we got it. All right, so that lowers the water, and okay, that clears up the spirit well. So now I think we should be able to use the spirit well, and yep, there we go. All right, now the next step is we still have to find Qualic. Uh, looks like we've explored quite a bit of this area so far. Um, yeah, there's nothing over here. Oh, Gorlakor. Alright. And looks like there's Lupo, so how do we get over to him there? Uh... Okay, now we actually have a bit of a path. Okay, so I think what we have to do is drag this up and... There we go. Okay, so... Oh, it looks like we have a little gauntlet here. Perfect time to test out my new spirit hammer.
There we go. Took you out. I like that spear hammer shockwave. Okay, what's next? Uh, all right, that's it. Why do I get the feeling there's something up there? Okay, there is a life orb up there. Why can I not get it then? Hmm. Oh well. And I see the spirit trial. And an accessory. So this one is energy harvest. Enemies will drop more energy orbs. Well, I don't think I really need that. Uh, there's the start for the spirit trials. Let's see. Anything over here? Nope, nothing over here. And let's swim a little bit faster. So we got this. Um, okay, so there's Spirit Orb here. And what to do? Alright, so we got this done. Okay, that unlocks this thing. Whoops. So what we want to do is... There we go. And now we found Lupo. Hello there, intrepid explorer. Have you ever seen this many colors in one place? Incredible, isn't it? I'll let you in on a trade secret. This is where I come for all my ink. The corals make amazing reds, you know. Care to purchase a map of this lush local for 250? Yes, we will. He has the best maps. Well, actually, he has the only maps. All right. Okay, so that's clear, and yeah, that just opens up where I've already been. It's a quick passage to the spirit well, but let's continue on. So, there we go. Let's go past that. So, this one should be able to go up here. Um, Okay, this is where we just were. Kind of gone uh, pointless circle there. All right, I guess we have to use the same method to get through that. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier because we have all these things coming. So let's track you and get you all the way over here. And then once we do that, there we go. Next passage is open. I don't know if it's a good thing if Ori is destroying all this stuff. Oh, we found Qualic. Hello, little one. It's good to see you here. He actually is looking kind of rough right now. A long time has passed since I last left my hollow, but you have given me hope. Did he look this rough before? The strength of the forest is near, and something else too. A familiar stench. Karnak, time is of the essence. We will speak again once we have found the wisp. Okay, he is looking really rough. <laughs> the journey's definitely taking a toll on him. All right. So he's going to help us find the wisp. And what was he guarding over here? Oh, nothing here. Okay, what about over here? Oh. We found the seed. All right. I think that's the most important part of this area. Oh, okay. That was a big jump. Shoot you off into the area there. Oops. And let's get you knocked down with a little bit of a light burst. So we're going to set light burst to B. And <laughs> okay. I probably could have done that better. But mission accomplished anyway. Let's see, what is up here now? Okay, so we need to get up there for the keystone and... Okay, there's another one there. you off into the water. 
shoot you into the water as well. <laughs> Just the easiest way to deal with these crabs. Okay, so... Uh, looks like we need four keystones. So we have two so far. And here's the... The end of the spirit trial. So... There we go. We found the start and the end. All right. Now from here... Nope, there's nothing hidden up there. Uh, looks like we have... Nope, not a high enough spirit jump. Oh, I actually see the next one to get. Okay, now... Now we have to get up there. Hmm. There we go. That's the spear trump I was looking for. All right, so... Last you out of the water there. And looks like there's some spirit energy here. All right. Why do I get the feeling I'm supposed to? Oh, there it is. Okay. Another Gorlet Gore. All right. We are well on our way in this level. So we have to get through there. Ooh. No, don't hit the spikes. Okay. Yeah. I am just stumbling my way through this place. Okay. Is there something I'm missing here? No, nope, doesn't seem to be. So I guess we have to go down. Okay. Alright, so we got the energy cell. And let's see where these bubbles are coming from. No, nope, I don't want to jump up. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so obviously we need this for something. Um... Okay, I don't know what. What would that have been for? I don't see anything here that I have to destroy. Or is it this? Maybe I have to use that to destroy this. So, let's take you all the way across. And... Okay, I was right. Uh, no, just uh, spirit energy. Okay, so that couldn't have been what I had to do here. Um, so this area is all clear. Uh, do I have all four of the, the keystones? No, I'm missing one, so I have to go up and over. Okay. So the last keystone is just down from here. Okay, so you obviously need... Let's see here. Alright, so that opens up a bubble there. Um, what do we need here? 
Okay, so we have the keystone, and maybe I have to break that apart. Let's see here. Only one way to find out. So it looks like this is another destroyable wall. Let's see here. No, okay, it's not. Anyway, I think we have all four keystones, so let's get back up to that gate. And... Okay. Ooh, no, don't want to go that way. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, maybe use the feather and blow these off to the right there. Oh, I don't know why I would need that there. Okay, so the door is just past here. Oh, shoot. Okay, my health was a bit low there. Somebody wasn't paying attention. Oops. No, I don't want to... Ah, oh, well. Forget those guys. Let's uh, quickly regenerate then. So, four keystones. And let's set our attack back to... I think the light burst is a pretty cool one. And I haven't really used it much. But we have our spirit tree. Alright, so in this area we get something that helps us swim a lot better. So, we'll see what it is in just a second. It's called Swim Dash, so just like Dash, but underwater. And... What do we have to do here? Okay, so instead of relying on those guys... Oops. Hmm. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Yeah, a dash kind of works like an attack where you can blast through these guys and finally start doing some damage underwater. And you can actually get through these areas that are kind of jettisoning you. So we got the bubble there. All right, what do we need to do? Okay. No, oh, maybe not. All right, so that sends you all the way over there. Okay, there we go. So there's nothing here. Oh, maybe just the spirit energy, that was it. Okay, well, we got that. Um, okay, but we don't have what's needed to open this door yet, so... Oh, okay, that was it. So we just had to get to the button. There we go. <laughs> We're well on our way. Let's see. So... All right, what do we have to do here? Hmm. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's uh, make sure that our spirit and health is back up and nothing over here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So let's... Okay, so no, we can't get it from that way. So let's try something different. Okay. 
Okay, so... Oh, that lowers the water. And that raises this thing. I think this is the uh, block that I was actually trapped by before. And it looks like there's actually one area here that I've yet to explore. So... Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad I checked the map, so I got another energy cell fragment. So we're getting a lot of those. And, yep, nothing to get over here, so... Why would it send us back, though? We still haven't found the Wisp. It looks like there's a bit of an area to explore over there. So it's just kind of weird that it would open up this area. So I have to get back over that way. All right, let's uh, quickly teleport to the... Well, we did get the spirit tree, so it opens up a bit more. But let's teleport over and then follow the map. Okay, so now we have to go just straight to the left. All right, over we go. And... Probably just zip through here, use that, and yeah, I don't think we need to... Yeah, I think we've gotten everything that we can get, can get over here. Uh, just keep going south. Whoops, don't take any hits. Okay, this is why we definitely need to the dash. We wouldn't have been able to do that with just a uh, slightly faster swim speed. Okay. All right, so restore our energy, and now we have the second spirit well here. Okay. Um, I think there's something up there. Yep, a spirit energy. And this we can't get yet because we need the sand, sand dash to get through there. But we can get the spirit energy that's lying around here. All right. So up we go, and... And it looks like we are just about at the next area. Actually, before we go, what is up here? Oh, nothing? Okay. Something is wrong with Qualic. Hurry! All right. Okay, he is looking really weird. Strength of the forest. Qualic found it. Okay. <laughs> His eyes are looking weird, and... Yep, the water around him looks kind of corrupted. Okay. All right, this... I pretty... I do remember this part, so... Our little friend from the water mill has been attacking Quala. Okay. And I believe that we have to escape him. So I think we... All right, we did it in one shot. So that's the escape sequence. And now we have to take on Quala. So what we're going to do is I really like the light burst for this battle. It seems to do quite a bit of damage. Show for the grounds. All right, so 
what is he doing now? So he fills the area up with water, but now that we have the light dash, the swim dash, I got this. All right, one shot, and I was actually pretty low on health, but I defeated Koala. Okay, so Koala is defeated, and now we have to go chase after him, I guess. Whoops, what am I doing? Jump up, climb up the rope. There we go. I was just a tiny bit off, so I couldn't grab it. Okay. Okay, he looks back to normal now, somewhat. And... Oh man, that's a brutal end. Well, he took out the foul presence, but he is looking rough. Your light grows, little one. The strength of the forest is safe. We might not be able to undo all the damage, but we can still give Nywin a second chance. Find the Wisps, bring them together again, and the Moki. Watch over them for me. Watch over this land. Maybe the only one who can. So this part's actually kind of sad. I mean, after all that, he finally starts to do something, and then he... I think this part is like the end of Qualic. He's basically passing the torch to Ori, and... Yeah. It's kind of sad that the big guard, the Guardian of the Marsh, is gone now. And unfortunately, we had a hand in it. So now we have three of the four spirits. Well, four of the five spirits, actually, because we started off with one. And it is getting a bit more powerful now, so... The only area left is the... the sand area. Maximum life and energy have increased. So we defeated Qualic. But it's kind of a bittersweet thing, because... Now, who are the Moki gonna turn to? It's not that they can really take care of themselves. Alright, so with that done, we did get the seed here. Uh, I think we're going to backtrack, try and hit this area here. And... <laughs> yeah, very sad sounding music. Oh, but that changes. So, even though the chase scene kind of destroyed quite a bit here, uh, looks like it's somewhat back together. So, it was just over this bend. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't get to explore it before because Qualif was chasing us. But I see a Gorlak Ore. Alright, so how do I get to that? Um, it's, it's... No, don't hit the spikes. Alright, where is the entrance to the Gorlak Ore? Is it this way? Uh, nope, not this way. I don't think, anyway. Nope. 
so I think I missed the entrance to it. Uh, not here. Nope. Can't break this tree. There's nothing to break here. Alright, so it's got to be down here somewhere. Oh, it looks like it might be blocked by that sand. So without... So I guess we can't get it right now. Alright, well, let's uh, mark that down for later. We have our, another spirit wall here. So what we want to do is... Okay, head back over there. So I guess we have to get out of the water to be able to teleport. Okay, so we want to use the pad over here and first talk to the Moki. They're going to be pretty devastated because their guardian is gone now. And all they have to look for, look uh, to is us. So... The Moki is, I believe, up there. No, maybe not. Uh, okay, it says... Enter the ruins between the windsweep white. So, actually, we... We have to head down and to the left a little bit. Okay. So, the Moki has got to be around here somewhere. You into the water. The splash you go. Qualic is gone. What will we Moki do? Great guardian, great teacher, both mossy and wise. I must pay my respects, but I am not strong enough to travel back to the marsh. This amulet, Qualic gave it to me long ago. Could you bring it to his pool in the hollow? Alright, we shall do that. You found a new quest item, once given by Qualic to a little Moki to inspire a little courage. Okay, so before we head to town, let's quickly take care of that. So the quickest way would be the, the one over here. And we'll just quickly go to Qualic's Hollow and place the amulets. And then we'll go to town, plant the seed, and just see what we have to do there. So I don't think we really have enough Gorlek ore to do much at the moment. Am I going the right way? No, I was supposed to go up. Alright, so go to Qualix Hollow. So what do they have to say? You go, we will watch her. So, Ku was injured. We lost Qualic. Uh we did defeat the foul presence. And man, things are getting rough in this area. We've gotta get better before they get worse, I guess, but now we place the amulets. At least the wind wellspring blades seem to be doing better. So the side quest is completed. I guess we got some spirit energy from that, but I don't really see any anything significant from that. So that's that side quest is done. Um, let's see the silent map. Okay, so I guess he wants us to explore the silent woods. We're not going to do that yet. And all right, so we're going to go to the town. So we have a new seed to plant from the Luma Pools, so what could it possibly be? Um, you know, Spirit, for a moment, I really thought things were taking a turn for the better. For some, hope left Nywin, along with the spirits of old. Qualic, he held on and saved so many. I will do my best to carry on his work, but it feels lonelier now. I will miss him. Okay, so, yeah, we can't really build anything with just four gore like gore. Uh, what do you have to say? 
Oh, it's you. You brought me soup in the cold. I hear you have helped many. They say you are a hero. But you are my hero because you brought me soup and it was delicious. Oh, that's nice. Good occur. At your what service. Care to hone your skills? Yes. Let's get... Um, Spirit Star I never use. Blaze I never use. Sentry. Yeah, you know what? Might as well get that one. And... Let's see. So there's not really a boss fight in the next one. So I'm going to hold off getting this for a little while. And just uh, plant the seed. Did you find any seed spirits? Yes, we found one more. I'm not surprised you found the seed so far away. Feel how sticky it is. Grass seeds hitch rides on passers-by to find fresh soil. Okay, so this one... I forget what this seed plants. Um... Oh, okay, the blue stuff that you can climb on. All right, so... In my youth, I once sprinkled grass stalks on my brother in his sleep. <laughs> I underestimated their stickiness. My poor mother spent hours trying to remove the tangles. That's pretty. That's a pretty funny story. All right, so the glades is looking a lot better. Um, who was the guy that talked about Qualic? Let's see, was it this one? I heard a big tentacle monster was blocking the big wheel, and you defeated it. That is funny. So funny. How could a little spirit fight a big tentacle monster? You could not. Well, we did. I think that might have been the one that was talking about the Luma pools. So we probably don't have anyone else here to talk to. Uh, what does talk have to say? Squirm. I've said before that this land has fallen far. But this is the first time I've really felt it. Qualic was more than just a guardian of the Inkwater Marsh. He gave us hope that we could stop the decay. Or at least slow it. Now that's hope with you and the wisps. Now, that uh, hope's with you and the wisps. Good luck, spirit. Okay, so he's starting to take to us. Uh, you don't have anything interesting to say. No, you already told us about the spiders. Uh... Okay, you say the same thing as before. Nothing new there. And let's see. Energy, vitality. No, I don't think we really need any of these. Uh, so what about the upgrades? Hmm. Yeah, these upgrades I'm not really feeling. So... Yeah, maybe this one. This one is 600, so we actually have that equipped. So if we get up to 6,000 Spirit Energy, we're going to be doing a lot more damage. Oh, and we do have the Spyglass to return to Monte. Look at that. Is that a Spyglass? I could really use one of those. Then I wouldn't have to follow you so closely. Not that I follow you. Everywhere. Here, have this canteen. It's filled with delicious water. That's two for one. Okay, so... We found the new quest item, made with fine leather and filled with fresh water. So that we have to give to the guy in the desert. And yeah, we're nearing the end of the hand-to-hand -hand quest. We've got pretty much most of the stuff we need. Let's see what our stats are before we end. So, I saw what Shrek did to your friends. I think who reminded her of something. Okay, we've heard that. All right, so we're up to 11 total deaths, uh, two from the enemy, nine by hazard. So we got one of those just in the last one because I wasn't paying attention to my health. And hazards, yeah, not much you can really do about that. 45% of the game's completed. Uh, six hours, so oh, not bad. Take a single jumps, all jumps, so... Yeah, there's not really much here. I have 14 of the 18 abilities picked up so far. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, and yeah, that's basically it. So I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, it's been a fun trip through the Luma Pools, even though it had kind of a bittersweet end. But thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll have the next video up pretty soon. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of do a little bit of the extra stuff that I have to do. So it might be a little bit different. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get to this area over here and kind of explore this area. 
Now, I do know the code for it, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch that in and get the tree, but then I might explore the area down here a little bit, just because I can't remember if there's anything significant down here or not. I'm uh, going to try and get uh, a couple of those ores. What else? There was... Let's see. Nothing really important over here. Um, yeah, no point in going back to many of these areas just yet. So, yeah, I think the next uh, video is just going to be a fairly short one. I might upload it the same day as the that I do the, the sand one, but just before. But it's going to be just kind of miscellaneous stuff. So just a little bit of uh, grinding and leveling up. So that's it for now. And have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.